welcome to a Trevor's Notebook Disney flip through. Just wanted to show you the album I currently have my TN layouts in. It's a citrus twist album and it has different kinds of page protectors. One's for just the um, TN and then it has some specialty ones with different sizes. So let's get going. Now I have a really good stack I'm gonna go through of TN ones. And then I have some just little um, side ones that uh, coordinate with the other layouts that I'll go through later too. Here we go. First one is just my, and now these are not in any order whatsoever, but I did wanna at least start with my title page. This page is actually, the paper is from um, Kelly Perky. Um, so the paper person, she doesn't make many more. It was in a kit, but I thought it was just too good to be true. And then this little embellishment is from Frank Garcia Studio. And it's like a little, I think originally they're supposed to make like barrettes with them or what have you, little hair clips. But um, we're using it as an embellishment today and it's a little shaker. So that is perfect. Now you're going to see this technique used a lot. This background is actually stamped in Versamark watermark ink. So the actual pattern paper just has the different colors, the little specks on it. And then I went through with one of our stamps and I stamped that tree just for a subtle look. This of course is an Animal Kingdom. I used a little sticker up here, some um, alphabet stickers from Kelly Perky, so paper person. I used our stamp and then these are just some stickers I had lying around. It's just perfect. Again, with that same technique. Now this is Splash Mountain. You're probably not gonna find a lot of things with Splash Mountain on it. I went ahead and used our stamp. I stamped in the Versamark watercolor ink in the background. And I also stamped um, some little Mickey heads right there and you can see. I used some little embellishments from Studio Calico. This little Mickey head is from our ephemera pack. And I called this one done. Now this is um, Disney's California Adventure uh, Cars Land. And this is um, just some old paper I had. I couldn't even tell you who it is. It's just, it was originally a 12 by 12. I went ahead and printed my picture with a little border already. I stamped our little Mickey heads right here. I used some stickers from Believe It or Not, but um, basic gray, so they're, they're old. Um, I stamped again right here. I used some of our ephemera, and I just tried to tie in some colors that were from the picture. So I'm using a lot of the browns, the earth tones, just so it'll all coordinate a little better. Oh, and then this little clear sticker I love right here, it's from Bobo Designs. So here's one from Radiator Springs. This is one from Disneyland at um, Fantasyland, and it's one of my favorite rides. It's the storybook um, Canal Boats. And we have this stamp right here. So I went ahead and I just stamped it, colored it in with some colored pencils and some markers. And then I added a little pocket right here and just some alphabet stickers. Again, just using colors from the picture. When you're in line there, they have these little posts and they have, it's like kind of like red stripes like this. So I thought that would tie in really good. But I just, like I said, stamped it and colored it in. You're not gonna probably ever find the whale from um, Pinocchio. So having this stamp available um, just made this layout a little bit extra special. These little doodads right here are from Studio Calico and that Mickey balloon is from our ephemera pack. Now here I did stamp our my own background paper because like I said, a lot of the, um, the subjects that we're gonna do today, we're not gonna find a lot of things to use for memory keeping. So we have a uh, Hollywood Tower of Terror stamp. I went ahead and I stamped, you could see the whole paper. 
I went back and did colored pencils as well as some Tombow markers just to give it a little um, depth. And I stamped the background paper and notice how I stamped off the sheet too. It's just not all lined up, even though you could do it probably all lined up, but I did it just so it was off. I did stamp some little Mickey heads and then I actually stamped one and cut it out and I put a few um, little just things to make it pop, some pop dots in back of that. I used some stickers for the title from Kelly Perky Paper Person and then this layout is done. Okay, this paper is from um, Paper Person Kelly Perky as well. This Easy There Tiger was actually from a Studio Calico journaling card, the little three by fours, and then I cut it in um, pieces for the title. This is from Simple Stories. It's one of those puffy stickers. This is our ephemera, and then I topped it on to don't know exactly what's on the back because I topped it so I can't see and then this little frame right here is one of those frames from Studio Calico it's like almost clear with just a hint of orange so I put it over the picture so you can kind of center right there I wanted to use a lot of oranges because we were in Cars Land where the um, cone motels are where you get the food so I tried to stay within that color theme and then this was in the summer, so I put summer adventures, ice cream, some of our ephemera from our pack. I used some more of these um, Simple Stories puffy stickers. I thought it came out pretty cute. This one was too fun. I, I always find myself taking a lot of pictures of the balloons whenever we're at Disneyland because they just look so, just so pretty. <laughs> so um, I went ahead and tried to mimic the balloons here on top. Now I used our ephemera for the Mickey balloons. We also have that have a stamp that's the Mickey balloons. And then what I did was I put some vellum over the balloon to mimic the clear part of the second part of the balloon. And then just took a white pen and, and tried to accent it so it, you can tell it's a balloon. So if you can see it came out really cute though. I love it. These word sticker strips are from Studio Calico as well as all these other little embellishments. The Mickey balloons, like I said, they're from our embellishment pack and we also have a stamp and I think this just came out too cute. This is another one that was really fun to use. Um, this is once again um, Kelly Perky paper. You notice I used the other part of this on the um, storybook canal. Show you. So each one is usually she has them double sided and then they're different. So um, here we go. These word strips, like I told you, are from Frank Garcia and they just work out perfect for your day at Disney. The only thing I have with them is that they're all pink. So it's going to be kind of hard to use like in Adventureland or Tomorrowland or. Um, Frontierland, but for Fantasyland, they come out perfect. So I went ahead and I put um, some of those stickers right here. I used some heart chipboard embellishments from Studio Calico. This castle right here is from our own embellishment pack. This is from Studio Calico. I went ahead and stamped it. We went in June and this was it. Super easy, super simple. Perfect. Okay, this one I just did. We went to um, California Adventure and they opened the new um, Avengers campus. So I was dying to try this uh, candy bar dessert. It's basically, it's called Coco Smash. It's a, like a Snickers bar, but on top of a brownie, it's just, it's delicious. It literally is delicious. And actually I did this layout for my TN, but once I do my um, pocket page, I even saved the wrapper and I saved the um, receipt. And this, this dessert is not cheap. It was uh, $7.99, so it came out to $8.61, but it lasted like three days because we couldn't finish it. So it was, it was really, really good. But for this page, this was another paper from Kelly Perky. Um, 
I like some of them and I like I said I don't think she's making any more tea and paper I used to be in her uh, her monthly club her monthly kit club and they used to send the TN paper and I just loved it it's a really good quality the designs are really neat but they have this large backdrop um, in Avengers Campus so I thought it would be really neat to go take the candy bar sit over there take a picture eat it over there but this just was too perfect so I went ahead documented the date what it was it was a snack I mean it kind of was a dessert but it was a snack I'm gonna just go with that um, now these stamps are from our collaboration we did with Julie Makes Things and it is for food and wine or any any time you eat or drink at the parks. I have it right here because I just used it. So it's really neat. It was perfect for this um, documenting like your foodie adventures in the park. So I went ahead and I stamped this. So good back for seconds. All of it. Um, this magic right here and, and this little embellishment is from her printables she has printables over on her site um, I went ahead and stamped the yum yum that's from our stamp that we did together these little labels are from her printable site and it's just it just was too perfect so if you're at Avengers campus I suggest you try the cocoa smash it's worth every calorie Okay, this one, like okay, we used this on Radiator Springs. It was a 12 by 12 paper, so I had some left over. I went ahead and used it on this Adventureland foodie layout because again, there's a lot of the oranges and browns in Adventureland as well. So used our embellishment, our Adventureland little um, die cut right there. Sam with her Dole Whip float, had some stickers. These are from our Hawaii um, stickers and our Hawaii ephemera. We have a Dole Whip right here from our, um, well, we have it both in stickers and ephemera, and it just came out really good. Like I said, I used all the colors from the picture. So, you know, in Adventureland, you're going to get a lot of the browns, the oranges, the greens, more neutral colors. Very natural. Here we have um, a picture of us going to California Adventure for the day. Now, when they reopened the parks, they issued paper tickets when you um, went in for the day. So I was just jazzed about it because we'd always been pass holders and they don't they don't give you a paper ticket. So we got a bunch of um, actual paper tickets. So I was so excited. So I, I would document it each time we went in, which ticket we gave because it was a different one each time. So what I did was I wanted to use this paper because the geotag was like, we are here. I also wanted to use the yellow because I thought it would, would tie in with the Pixar Pier and make it stand out. But this top part was so busy. So to kind of combat fighting for attention, I put a piece of vellum so it just kind of drew your eye um, right there instead of it getting lost in the pattern. So I went ahead and did Park Hopper. This is our um, From Us. We have this in uh, sticker form and we have it in ephemera and we have it as a stamp went ahead and used um, this really cute Studio Calico journaling card, backed up my um, picture. This home and these hearts right here is from Fairy Tale Club. This puffy sticker is from Simple Stories. And then this word phrase sticker is from Studio Calico. I really love this one. I just love the, the way the colors all pop out. And then I always stamp my date. This one was this one's one of my favorites. Okay, so here we have a Galaxy's Edge one. Now these cut cut out cut files and cutouts are from Celine Studios, I believe it is. I'll have to link them for you. And I went ahead and um, matched those up with our stamps that we have, and I made a background paper. And then I love the title. Now this paper, of course, is a uh, Kelly Perky, and I thought it was perfect to mimic um, anything in a galaxy. So just to give you a little closer up look. Like I said, we have on that stamp set, which is sold out, but if you join our email list, we are offering it to our email subscribers only coming up. So make sure you get on that list. And this was perfect. Now here's another example of using the Versamark watercolor ink. I went ahead and used our um, Star Friends and Foes stamp 
stamp some at ats right here to make my own background paper cut one of them out on sticker paper so made it into a sticker and put it next to our title now at the florida star tours which is in hollywood studios they have giant at ats and it's just it's just insane so it's one of my favorite things so i had to take a picture and then i use some um just a clear little white sticker here at at i thought it'd be funny to put we're at at disney world because these are giant at ats again like i said paper from kelly perky Now here is another layout from Galaxy's Edge, this time in Disneyland. I went ahead and used my tried and true, my Versamark ink pad and stamp some Millennium Falcons on the back to make my own background paper. I just used some sticker strips. These were like at the end of a border and I just ended up cutting them to make little embellishments here. This is just the label. I went ahead and we have this as a stamp as well. So I cut it out and then colored it in with some colored pencils. And then these, my friends, are like those stickers that you used to use back in the day to put like the reinforcement stickers when you had something you were putting in a binder. I love using them though. So sometimes you'll see me use them or um, color in with the marker and use them but I think they're a great little embellishment so that's what those are and then I cut out our Millennium Falcon from I stamped it I colored it with colored pencils and then added it to the layout okay now this one is from Epcot now the fun thing about Epcot is this changes colors and I can't remember it's spaceship earth, but I don't know if this actually this sphere has a name or not, but this, the ride is in there. So, but the way it changes colors, depending on, um, the sun hitting it or the sun setting or the lights from below, it's just, you're going to get kind of a different color, um, illuminating from it at all times. So I just thought it was really neat. It's kind of air destiny. So I wanted to kind of copy that and try to mimic it somehow in the layout. So now you can see the little Spaceship Earth stamp in the background. I went ahead and took the Versamark watercolor ink, stamped a pattern, and then I took these little sequins, which are iridescent, and I just put them in certain places where the sun would hit the light on Spaceship Earth, and it just came out so pretty. I cut one out to use as an embellishment right by my title. So it says Epcot, Spaceship Earth, these, I believe, are Lawn Fawn, and this is Kelly Perky. But I really, really captured this, um, this picture, and the layout did it justice, so pretty happy with it. Now, we're at Hollywood Studios here. Wanted to document um, some of our, our food. Once again, it's kind of hard to find, like, Dole Whip or Dole Whip float, you know, items to scrapbook with, so I went ahead and used our stamp and used the... First mark watercolor ink again and stamped a whole pattern in the background. And then if you can see, I even stamped some little Mickey heads in between. So we know we're still at Disney. I went ahead and kind of did an instructional like go to Hollywood Studios, order frozen drink, it spiked, cue the applause. So, um, you know, you can't drink at a lot of places in our Disney, but at uh, Florida, you can drink basically at every park. So they have a little spiked Dole Whip float, which was kind of neat. So of course, Sam jumped on that opportunity, but this came out really good with the stamping, you know, your own background paper. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I am keep referring to the Versamark watercolor ink, I'm going to show you. It's just this watermark stamp ink. It just means that it's going to stamp one shade darker than whatever you're stamping on. So look at, we stamped both here and it just made a darker blue here and it just made a darker rose here. So this is a fun one. Again, one of my, my, I just find myself always taking pictures of the teacups because it's just so colorful, whether you're, you know, sitting there watching it at the day, you know, in the middle of the day or at night when all the lights go on, it's just such a pretty sight. And our teacups that we have here in Disneyland versus Disney World, it's just, with the ivy growing and it's just, oh, it's just breathtaking. So 
did a whole layout about that. I can't even remember who's in the picture because I prob they were probably like way over here and I still took it. Um, but I went ahead and just used some of our embellishments. These are all of our um, ephemera. The teacups are our ephemera too. These two are from Studio Calico. And then the paper is from Kelly, Kelly Perky. I literally don't know what I'm going to do when I'm all out of her paper because I use it so much. I'm so sad. I'll have to find some more. But this is just a fun little layout. Here's just something simple I still wanted to document. Um, when they closed Disneyland down, they opened it up for a taste of Disney. They gave everyone that was a you know, pass holder since technically we weren't pass holders anymore. They, we, a mag, or yeah, this was a magnet and they called us legacy pass holders. So I just wanted to document it. So this paper is from Kelly Perky. These word stickers are from Tim Holtz and everything else is from um, Social Paper Plan. I just tried to use the colors that were in the picture. So that's why you see all the various shades of purple. Very simple though. This took me like literally two minutes. Now here we have again paper from um, Kelly Perky. What I did was I went ahead and I used one of our stickers um, from us from Social Paper Plan. I used some alpha stickers from Kelly Perky. Best day ever sticker was the word stickers from Tim Holtz. I stamped this on uh, some sticker paper and it's from Everyday Explorer just in a line and document, just put it right behind um, the picture of me eating a, an ice cream cone. And I just tried to use all the pictures since we were on Pixar Pier from uh, all the colors from the pictures. So the reds and the blues and the turquoises and the shades of yellow. I just went ahead and tried to use all of those so the layout would be cohesive. Now it's funny because here is the same paper that I just used, but it's turned around. So I just turned it around. I went ahead and stamped in the Versamark ink to kind of just tie everything in because I wanted to really document the new mural they made at uh, Magic Kingdom for Orange Bird because I love him. So I just stamped a bunch of the Dole Whip. We even have the Dole Whip um, stamp, I mean, the Orange Bird stamps. I went ahead and stamped him and then just added just some fun little things. Another just simple one, paper is from Kelly Perky. Chipboard ephemera is from Studio Calico. Paper ephemera is from us, Social Paper Plan. And then the word stickers are from Studio Calico. They had all kinds of fun little um, murals and picture spots to take your pictures from when they did the Taste of Disney. So that was kind of neat. This one's done. Now this one, I went ahead and changed the orientation. Um, my picture was horizontal, so I changed the whole layout that way. So in the book, it'll just flip like that. And I actually really, really liked it. Um, again, I just used some paper from Kelly Perky Paper Person, and I used our ephemera from our um, theme park pack right here, and it was made for the teacups, so this is even perfect. I uh, put the little title, teacups, added some of our balloons. Now, these stickers over here that you see in the pink, those word stickers are from Frank Garcia Studio. It worked out really good. This is from Studio Calico. And now I like to call this like the trifecta. So if you ever are in teacups, you have to try to get this picture. It's teacups. This ride right here is Alice in Wonderland. And then of course this ride right here is Matterhorn. So it's the trifecta. <laughs> but we're gonna call this one done too. And don't ever be scared to turn your layouts around. They don't have to go in the way that the book is designed any way that your picture is going to stand out more because if I would have left it the other way I would have cut out a lot and I like that those girls were wearing something colorful and they just looked like they were having fun so I didn't really want to cut them out and I didn't I thought it was going to take away from the picture if I took everything else out so that's why I kept it this way 
Right here is a Haunted Mansion one, super neat um, experience here. Sam and I went and the line was really long. This was um, in June, I believe. And they have, were going up and down the line asking people, can you do stairs? Can you do stairs? Can you do stairs? And everyone's saying, no, 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 no. And I'm like, we well, can do stairs. So what they ended up doing was taking anyone that said that they could do stairs through the back area. So we went through like the crypt and then down the stairs um, through the back way. And it was just, ugh, it was a great experience. So um, the cast member that let us do that, let me take pictures. We stopped and we took a bunch of pictures and it was just great. So I had to make um, a layout documenting going the back way. So I went ahead and used this puffy sticker from Simple Stories. No Escape Jeepers Creepers is from Studio Calico. The paper is from Kelly Perky. Um, these are from us, Special Paper Plan. We have it in a stamp and we have it in uh, paper ephemera as well. And then these were downloads and I can't remember where I, I, I have, I've had them for a while, but I'll have to look it up and see where I downloaded them from. But I thought it was just perfect because she's standing in front of the, um, the gal with the, on the tight rope. So this was kind of neat. Okay. This picture deserved its own layout because it's like the one dessert I always get. It's the raspberry macaron and it is just ugh, so fabulous. So, um, I went ahead and I didn't want to use too much red cause I wanted this to stand out when you saw it. So I stamped my own background. Now we have these two stamps and it works out really good cause they're like little filler stamps, but I went ahead and stamped everywhere to make my own background paper. I use these giant sticker letters from Studio Calico. These are ephemera from us. This chipboard ephemera is from Studio Calico. This frame is also from Studio Calico. I stamped this little saying on some sticker paper and put it down. That's from Everyday Explorers. And then this little puff sticker is from Simple Stories. But I thought it turned out really good because it is a good day whenever you're gonna eat that. If you go to Disneyland, it's in the Jolly Holiday Bakery. It's, it's absolutely delicious. Okay, another Haunted Mansion, because this is another, this is like teacups. I, get, I find myself always taking pictures um, at Haunted Mansion because it's just so, Fabulous. I always find some other detail that I didn't know. Now, this is our ephemera, and I want you to look at the detail that we even put in our ephemera because the weather vane on top, we even put on our stamp in our ephemera right there. So it's really neat. Now, I wanted to use the stamp, our Haunted Mansion stamp, but I knew it would be really busy if I did it just on here on the stripe paper. So I did it on the vellum. And then I layered it over just to, to pop out a little bit more. These word stickers are from Studio Calico. These puffy stickers are from um, Simple Stories. The ephemera and the stamp on the background paper is from us, Social Paper Plan. I also, if you could see, I'm not really doing it justice, but I cut out some Mickey heads from some vellum to kind of act like the ghosts. And I just put them randomly places. This you are my favorite and this heart is from Julie Makes Things. And I think it turned out really good. Okay, so here's another one. Um, we have a stamp set that's Main Street, different buildings on Main Street, which again, I just love the colors and the architecture on the building. So. I thought it would be perfect. Now, if I stamped just on the background paper, which is Kelly Perky, it would probably get lost and I wanted the building to stand out a little bit. So again, I stamped them on vellum, put them on there, um, and usually we start our day with the picture in front of one of the buildings at um, on Main Street anyway, so this was perfect. All of these little goodies right here on the side are from Julie Makes Things, and this word sticker is from Studio Calico. Okay, here we have a layout of Pandora um, in Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Again, paper is from Kelly Perky. I thought it was perfect because there were like little plants on it. So I went ahead and stamped out our little icon of Pandora, cut around it, layered it on top, 
layered it though with a piece of vellum because I thought it would get lost if I just put it on this this broad um, bright pattern so I put the vellum there and then put the little paper um, doodads and then our little stamp that I cut out this was actually perfect because this already came like this from Studio Calico with this little plant on it so it was perfect and then the stickers are from the alpha stickers are from Kelly Perky this came out really neat Now these little side ones that I had, um, I didn't want to really take out of their little page protectors, but they kind of go hand in hand with another layout that's, you know, on there. So this one is um, taken on Thunder Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain inside Disneyland. This is our ephemera. We have some of Big Thunder Mountain. And you all know the goat. And here's another one. This is our ephemera as well. We have it a little sticker and a stamp of Orange Bird. And then just some fun journaling cards. Now this is from Julie Makes Things. And then this is from our stamp collaboration we did with her. Um, this is for Galaxy's Edge, of course. Let me know if you're um, team blue milk or green milk, because I'm obsessed with the blue. <laughs> and then we just have some journal cards here. Those are ours. It's a, it's a download. And then we have this fun layout that I wanted to show you too. So like I said, in the Citrus Twist kits, there's a whole bunch of fun configurations of the um, page protectors, and this was one of them. So this was a day of eating. Now you can see I stamped um, a background that says yum, yum, yum. I use our embellishments. These are our die cuts that we have. Some fun drinks that we had inside Olga's Cantina. Again, just stamped our own background. This is a die cut, a stamp and a sticker that we have. There's a loco moco bow. It's delicious from the hideaway, the tropical hideaway. This is the mango like Dole Whip, you know, float was really delicious. This is the Black Calf Coffee Cold Brew from Docking Bay 7. So it was basically cold brew. And then they had a cream cheese cream and then they put Cocoa Puffs on top. Super good. And then on the other side, we just finished with, we ate a lot that day. <laughs> totally craving. Um, we had a lobster quesadilla inside the Grand Californian Hotel. We tried the jambalaya from the French market. We had the Oga's Obsession. It's basically jello with like Sprite and Pop Rocks and Boba. It's really, really good. And that's dried fruit. This is ours. And then, of course, like I said, I wasn't kidding. We always get the raspberry macaron. And then I had the um, cowboy specialty hot dog. So at the Grand California, they always have a specialty of the month hot dog so you don't know what it's going to be so this month it was like a cowboy one it came with like barbecue sauce and um onion rings so so that's fun so those are those are kind of fun little um configurations of the page protectors you can use so i just want to thank you for this quick flip through of my traveler's notebook size album I will be doing a pocket page Disney flip through soon, but if you have any questions about any of the items that I used or you want a little bit more info on them, um, please comment and let me know and I will get back to you. So enjoy.